Well, Jim, we're back here on Chip Chat Sunday night. Thanks for joining us here on this one. Whether you're listening on WMHW.org or watching on the YouTube live stream, you can get to us using the Facebook page, Chip Chat WMHW, through Facebook. So thanks for tuning into this one. Jim, going to dive into some Lions talk now. Obviously, their season's over, and we talked about them a little bit last week with Dave Burkett. But this week, talk about another priority for this team in the offseason, one of them being Adamic and Sue, and I think that's the biggest priority. We both agree on that? Absolutely, sure trying to get him to a long-term deal. But I think the second priority for this team is their defensive coordinator, Terrell Austin. He's been drawing some interest from a lot of teams for their head coaching position. One of them specifically is Atlanta. But it looks like right now it seems like he might be staying. Well, yeah, you look at all the openings, and there were a lot of them, and a lot of them have been filled now. Jack Del Rio out in Oakland. I mean, teams have filled in some of the holes that you thought. Atlanta's the one that's really sitting out there. Kubiak looks like he's headed to Denver. But the one thing is Atlanta hasn't hired Terrell Austin. It's because they're waiting on Dan Quinn, the defensive coordinator of the Seahawks, and Dan Quinn is still very much coaching in the postseason. He can interview next week. He can't take a job. Now they could agree to a, you know, wink, wink, nod, nod kind of deal. Oh, one of those, huh? But because Atlanta waited this week, and it, you would assume they'll wait again next week, right? Terrell Austin's right, just I kinda, mean, they're going to wait for, I mean, Dan Quinn's the guy. So then Terrell Austin's not the guy, and Terrell Austin will be back as the defensive coordinator of the Lions next year, and it's kind of interesting because you talk about it's a priority for the Lions. They couldn't do anything. They had well, There's nothing control. that they can do. No, they have to hope that other teams don't hire him, but he's only been a one-year defensive coordinator, and I don't know if that's part of this equation that teams have said, you're good, we'll bring you in, we'll hear what you have to say, and I don't know, one of the reports was teams weren't wild with his coordinator choice because maybe he doesn't have the network that some of these other guys have or he couldn't pull the necessary guys. I don't know who they were going to team him up with. There was rumors maybe Gase, right, who's from... the offensive coordinator for Denver. I mean, maybe, but that's bridging the gap. Maybe Gase doesn't want to come, and, and that's not one of Austin's guys. So Terrell Austin looks like he's going to be the defensive coordinator for the Lions next year, and it's huge. I mean, you put Sue right up there. This is monstrous because the Lions' defense, second in points allowed this year, second in yards allowed this year. That's the best Lions defense in a decade. Same players as last year, relatively. They added James ahead of Bo, but that's it. Everybody else was the same guys. And this is a defense that was 16th in the NFL last year. Now they're second. Why? Part of it is coaching. Part of it is ahead of Bo, a turnover safety. I mean, he made a lot of plays. Glover Quinn taking steps forward. Darius Slay being better. I'm giving most of the credit to Austin. But I think a lot of it is Austin in the scheme and coaching those guys up. The secondary is his biggest impact. That's where he coached in Baltimore before he got here. Yep. I think he's a dynamite defensive coordinator, and I think he's gone next year. So you keep him now, and that's the way it looks. But it's not going to be very long before he's on the way out, and that's why this window you're looking at, can you optimize this defense? Can you make a run? You think so because defense, and you saw it with Seattle, kept him in the game against Aaron Rodgers today. Terrell Austin's a huge part of this season. Well, I mean – the average fan probably doesn't know who Terrell Austin's name is, defensive coordinator. This is his first year, and you mentioned the numbers there to prove it, went from the 16th best scoring defense to the second in one season. That's a big improvement. And without a big turnover, not a big defensive ad in the offseason, no rookie coming in and making a huge impact, it was Terrell Austin coming in and making the impact. Came over from the Ravens, you mentioned as a secondary coach, and we saw the improvement in the secondary this year with no real additions in the offseason again and you saw the the improvement in Darius Slay and you saw it in Rasheen Mathis and you saw it overall in that secondary becoming a formidable secondary realistically to add to that pass rush along the front line Dan Quinn though really has to be that guy for Atlanta which is fine with me because if they were if there was no other option Terrell Austin would be their number one go-to guy and Dan Quinn's had the number one or number one scoring defense the last two years in Seattle since he got there he's been there two years now and they've been the number one scoring defense both years and if you're a Lions fan that's saying, well, Austin probably doesn't want to leave. He's got a good situation here, right? He wants to go to Atlanta. He wants the head, head coaching coach. job. You right? Be, yeah. yeah, he wants to be the job. I mean, he went to Atlanta, and in his first interview, he goes, look, guys, I know you already interviewed Adam Gase from, uh, from the Denver Broncos. I know you already interviewed him for the head coaching job. Guess what? If you want to take me, I'll bring him on my staff as well. I'll bring him on as the offensive coordinator, as you alluded to. So you get two guys that you'd want there. So. Austin's making a pitch to go to Atlanta. He wants to be there, and he could bring Gase in. They get two guys they want then. So what's Atlanta waiting for? What, what are they waiting for? They're, They're waiting, waiting on Dan Quinn. Have... Some, somewhat of breaking news good regarding news. yeah, good news regarding Terrell Austin and the defensive coordinator for the Detroit Lions. Just got some news in from Adam Schefter. He tweeted, Falcons are hiring Kyle Shanahan as their offensive coordinator. And what does that mean? And they don't, they don't have a head coach either, so it's a little strange. But he also tweets with that saying, Shanahan 
and Dan Quinn plan to be a package deal. So if Shanahan's on the way there, they're waiting for Quinn, and maybe there is that agreement, that wink-week agreement that you talked about earlier on, and that proves to be good news for the Lions in saying that I think Austin's staying another year. Yeah, Terrell Austin, defensive coordinator for the Lions, was rumored to be a candidate for that Falcons job, but the Falcons were waiting on Dan Quinn, yep. and now Kyle Shanahan's hired to be the offensive coordinator without there being a head coach. Really bizarre. I mean, obviously Dan Quinn wants the job, right? Why wouldn't you want an upgrade from defensive coordinator to head coach? So if Quinn wants it but can't tell him he wants it, can't sign it, the Shanahan – but why? Why Why not just wait on Shanahan? It is a little strange. Why, I mean, what's the urgency to sign Shanahan? Wait a week and see what Quinn can do. Wait three weeks and see what Quinn can do. You well, almost, why does it matter? It, you almost guarantee that Quinn's locked into that deal. And now, maybe right? they just want someone on the ground right now, boots on the ground that can help make moves with the team, that yep. can help talk to the guys and be a part of the new staff. That's the only thing I can think of is he's essentially like associate head coach, offensive coordinator, hold it down until they could officially hire Dan Quinn, the defensive coordinator of the Seattle Seahawks. 